So in this part, we now want to see how we can grab the data uh, selected value and when the user clicks on save, it saves into the database. For instance, this is a dating control record, but when we click on save, nothing happens. It doesn't save. It doesn't save actually because I know. We need to actually uh, do something similar to what we did when we are adding new records. We are going to actually uh, use this time a put method in the form. So let's go to the edit form and here we have uh, the action here. So instead of having post, we are going to change it to put. It's going to be put and now we are going to be editing uh, sending to slash countries and that is okay. Um, and then we also need to specify the, 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 I'm going to specify that we are going to the updates and we will need to send the ID across, okay? How do we send the ID across? Uh, I'm going to go back to copy a code from here. So permit me to just copy this. Let me just copy this and then change it up because delete uh, seems uh, similar to edit. So I'm going to copy this and let's see. Yeah, so let me just paste it right here. Okay. So instead of delete, I'm going to have updates and yeah, slash country ID. So this is exactly what we want for, for updates, okay? And the method is gonna be put. And now let's go down to the controller and write the method. So the method is about the same like the delete method. So simply copy and paste and just change something change up things a bit. So I'm going to copy this and paste it, paste it right here. Request mapping remains, but we have get and what? Get and put and put, yeah. Now this time we are doing update and here I'm going to just change it to updates. And um, actually in the case of the path variable, we don't need it. I'm going to remove the path variable from here and simply say uh, country, country. Because we need the country records to be edited to be coming as a request body. Once you say request method.get and have request method.put, the system is going to know that a, a country object is coming from a request body. So we don't need to worry because it's going to figure this out. We also don't need to worry about saying path variable because once it sees this uh, variable in the path and it sees the request body of the country, it's going to know that the two of them belong together. So here I'm going to change this to save and specify country. Now the service method called save is going to save both for add new and for update. So when we have the service method that takes a country like this and saves it, it saves uh, both for add new and also for update. So we don't actually need to write another method, another save method, but let me just make sure. Um, yeah, so we don't really need to write another save method. Yeah. Okay, so um, let's see what we have to do. So let's get, let me get back to the controller. Um, so method get put, okay, this is fine. So if I go back to my country list, uh, this is fine. If I go back to the edit form, this is fine as well. So let's now try to see, let's test it to see if it works fine. So I'm going to refresh this page, so stop and rerun and it works fine okay so let's go to our application now i want to change the capital of the united states from new york to uh you can see here is new york i want to change it to washington dc i'm going to click here so have new york here i'm going to change it to washington dc and click on save so you can see now it changed to washington dc to show it's not magic i'm going to change India, uh, because I have many friends in India, so I'm going to change the India, uh, uh, the code from IN to 
IND, okay, IND, and save. And now the code change in India from IND to IND. So we are done with save on update operation for countries. So I'd like to thank you for viewing. Now I'm gonna give you an assignment. Uh, the assignment I'm gonna give you is this. If we go back to the parameters home, we now have created the delete, the edit, and the add for countries. We need to do the same thing for states. So do exactly the same thing for states, right? But don't worry about the update or the add new. So simply create the form for yourself and then in the next part we continue from there. One thing we also need to do, uh, which I'm going to do in the next part, is to do the details page because we need to have the details page and this is optional but let's see to that in the next part. So please remember to subscribe to my channel, to click on the subscribe button below to subscribe and if you have any challenges following this fleet management system I'm building version 2, please leave me a comment in the comment box below. Like and share this video, it might help someone. I remain kind on the tech pro and I'm always there for you.